Hey, what is going on guys? This is Mike from Mike's Custom Airbrush, Iacona Studios. And today we are gonna do a little Valentine video for the sweethearts out there. I have a little, um, I have a little heart design I wanna do. Uh, pretty stock design, I've been painting this for years. Um, I'm gonna incorporate a small stencil, a little um, airbrush effect, some stippling, and we're just going to freehand some script lettering in there. So I'm going to take you through that and um, show you a pretty cool design you could do. So um, yeah, we'll get started. So basically I have a stock stencil here that I already made. I've been using this for a while. Um, probably time to do another one. Um, my edges might be a little rough, but it'll be fine for demonstration purposes. So basically this is a Pellon, piece of Pellon. I drew this out, freehand draw this out cut it out. Uh, I'll be using this as a template. Um, basically, I want to blow my background in and I don't want to get any color on the hearts um, because I want it to be a clean look. So um, I'm going to put this on there and uh, yeah, we'll get started. So I have a very little bit of adhesive on the back of this, just some like spray adhesive. And I'll keep it attached to the shirt. You don't want to use too much of that because then it'll leave some glue on there. Um, okay, so I got my um, clothespin here. So I'm going to lean that opaque black on the end of there and start letting a little paint come out. And you'll see, I'll start getting that stippling effect. I don't want it dripping off, but I want enough where you can see some dots. Um, okay, so I'll a little ring of color and then I'm gonna go around these hearts to get that nice crisp edge and it's gonna kind of leave a drop shadow on those hearts and I'm gonna come in with a few cracks right at the tail of them tail end of those cracks I'm going thick to thin, so you're gonna put a little of that dagger stroke in there. All right, and that's how we get started. So there's your basics. Um, I got the granite on there, put my shadows on there, a couple cracks, now it's time to take the stencil off. So there you go. You're left with uh, some clean hearts ready to fill in any color you want, but again, Valentine's Day, we're gonna stick with the colors. Pull out some bright red. And I'm just gonna freehand this in here. And be sure to try to not get any color on the outside. I like to put a little horizon line on these parts and give them a little bit of an effect instead of just coloring them solid. And there's all different types of designs you can do with hearts and names. There's a lot of stuff where, again, I won't use stencils, I'll just freehand some stuff, but this is a good example of how I'm using a stencil for a tool. I wanted that crisp background. I didn't want to get all the stippling all over there. There's no way I'd be able to put all the stippling around those hearts without a stencil. Um, so yeah, right tool for the right job. Okay, so that was my bright red. I'm gonna come in with some hot pink and fill in some of those lighter areas. I'm gonna hit it with the hair dryer real quick. So sometimes when I'm working really fast, especially in the retail store and we're trying to get some stuff in and out, I'll really go through these shirts fast. So I will have a hair dryer there handy because by the time I lay some paint down and then I'm ready to back to write a script name through it, if that's really wet and you're coming in with air, you're gonna push that paint and it's gonna look wrong, disgusting and muddied up. Um, so it's important to make sure if you have any loose paint, I mean uh, wet paint, you're coming in real quick and drying that. Um, again, when you're cranking these shirts out, if you're busy, um, you want to make sure that's dry, so. 
All right, and now um, I'm just picking up my opaque black Wicked, and we're gonna freehand some lettering in here, so. I'm gonna go with me and my wife's name. Mike and Wendy. Still remember the first shirt I did for her when we started going out. It was like this beach scene with our names on it. And she walked around with it in high school and then everybody was like, holy crap, you do that, you do that. It's literally like how I started. Just people see your stuff and then all of a sudden start asking questions and then before you know it, here I am. Okay, so I got the basics down. I'm gonna put a little drop shell under, shadow under that. So I'm basically rewriting this, just offsetting it and coming in light with a shadow. Now I'm gonna freehand just a couple links. Kind of like a little indication of a chain. Again, I'll put that little shadow underneath. Then I'm going to come in with some wicked opaque white and do our few highlights. You don't want to go crazy with the white. You just want it to accent. I'm going to come under these cracks. Just give them a little dimension. So I'm gonna be doing these quick videos with a lot of simple designs, guys, just to take you through the motions. The more you see stuff like this and the more little bit of talk I have, um, I think it'll help you guys. And again, I just, um, trying to give you guys that are getting started a couple little tidbits. Um, you can go back and just drop the video on supplies. A lot of people ask me about what supplies I use, so we have something to cover that. Um, and like I said, as we go on, I'll get a little bit better with speaking and um, trimming the fat off the stuff that I'm trying to get across from you guys, but I think you'd definitely gain some value from these videos. Okay, so I got that little sparkle on each letter to try to accent where that's where that begins and ends. Sometimes you can write these things together and, and it might get a little washed together, but there's little things that I like to do that help separate. But yeah, it's a really cool design. Uh, I've been painting this one for years. You can change the color of the, uh, of the hearts. Um, it really looks cool in like teals and stuff like that. But I went with traditional colors because it is Valentine's weekend. Okay guys, so um, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to wrap up this video. Um, be sure to check out our other videos. Um, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, feel free to ask any questions about um, artwork, uh, airbrushing. Um, let me know any other videos you want me to zero in on. Other than that, I'm going to keep continuing each week to bring you small videos like this, taking you through maybe some basic designs, and then also maybe mixed in some educational stuff. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys. Um, Mike's Custom Airbrush on Facebook, uh, Iacona Studios uh, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, be sure to check out iaconastudios.shop if you want to purchase some cool artwork from us. Um, you can definitely order some airbrush shirts on there. Hit us up with any kind of uh, questions you have as far as projects you might want to do. Um, and definitely check out all our art prints on there, a lot of original art on there too. So uh, until next time, guys, catch you later.